I am referring to this matter because I feel that very special attention is called for by the various departments concerned. It is in view of an expert engineer that many areas have been affected because of canals which have been constructed during the last few years because of some of the bridges and culverts of the railways and also because some of the newly built road because there is no coordination between the different departments involved the water logging persists i am sorry to be critical of the government or the administration but i can say from my own experience that no department is prepared to shoulder the responsibility if you mention it to the railways they will say we have nothing to do with it the bridges or the culverts were built a long time back if you go to the transport department they will say well the roads are all right and therefore there is no problem so far as the roads are concerned if you refer to the irrigation department well they are a law unto themselves in saying this i am aware that a reflection on my own self and i accept that i should be held responsible for it but i do want to emphasize that the administration must realize its responsibility in this matter and get rid of the system of each department working in a sort of watertight compartment we are a vast government and naturally every ministry is becoming bigger and bigger it is therefore even more essential that there should be proper coordination i would like only to add one more point it is essential that loading unloading and dispatch of food grains to different areas should be expedited and arranged efficiently of course it is the ports that are mainly concerned with the loading unloading next comes the railways things have improved considerably during this period there has been quick loading and unloading as regards labor there was some difficulty but they have responded well and the railways have also carried on with their work efficiently and effectively even during this period this of course applies to a short time period I do not want to take a complacent view. I think our responsibility is very great and I see difficult days ahead. At least for the next 2 months, September and October until the new harvest comes. But I do not want in any way to create a feeling of demoralization in the country or amongst ourselves. I have no doubt that we'll be able to overcome the present crisis without any serious trouble as for imports there has been some delay because of the trouble in american ports however several countries have helped us in diverting ships to india and it would therefore be possible for us to get adequate food during the third week of this month as i said i do not envisage any special difficulty in feeding our poop people things may not be to our entire satisfaction yet we will not have to resign ourselves to anything disastrous whichever way we look at it an increase in the production of food grains is essential towards this end i would merely mention two new steps which we propose to take there is the production part of it and there is the distribution part 
In so far as production is concerned, the food minister has announced that we want to fix the prices of food grains for producers. I say that this is a revolutionary step. It has not been done so far, although we have been thinking about it for some time. Yet I cannot ignore what Dr. Loya said the other day that if we give higher prices to the producer, it would mean that the food grains would also be priced higher. This is an aspect of the problem which needs to be carefully considered. And it has to be realized that for a country like the United States of America, it's easy to fix high prices or the higher prices. Their economy is an economy of prosperity. Our economy is an economy of, I wouldn't say poverty, but anyhow. I would like to appeal to all honorable members to kindly lend their help to us in this matter. It is very easy to form unions and organizations and demand high wages, and I think it might be done. But to begin with, if we start with that kind of agitation, my feeling is that the scheme itself will be killed. It is desirable that any objective body of experts should be considered. They should consider the question of fixation of prices and an ad hoc announcement. We do not want to delay the matter much. The prices for rabi crops have to be announced soon because sowing will begin sometime in the month of November, slightly earlier or later in some places. We have appointed a committee of experts and the officials at the center with Shri L.K. Jha as the chairman. The finance, food and other ministries concerned are all represented on the committee. The report about producers' prices will be submitted sometimes next week. By the end of the month, I hope they will also be able to submit their report about the prices for wholesalers and retailers. Theirs is a difficult task, no doubt but they will, at least for the next year, carry on with it. After that, I hope the month of January, the regular Agriculture Prices Commission will be set up as a permanent body to do this work in the future. I do not want to say much about how the Kisan should be helped in regard to increasing production. A great deal has already been said. It might be said that I take a conservative view, but I feel that in the given circumstances, what is essential is that the Kisan should be helped to the utmost in small ways. What I mean is mechanized farming is good and we may have farms like Suratgarh, we should have them as experimental demonstration forms. It would also help us in adding our present food production, but by and large it is not possible for the cultivator to take to mechanized farming. I fear that if we did that, we would have to import machinery from abroad, add to the burden of our foreign exchange. Secondly, if we took so much mechanized farming on a large scale, the machinery would lie unused for months together unless we could arrange for enough technical personnel. Instead of being beneficial to the Kisans, it would definitely be harmful. 
we may have to go for this at a later stage but just at present what is needed is kisan should get enough water better seeds manures and if necessary credit facilities if we can give these things to kisan i have absolutely no doubt that he will produce much more one thing more i have said so earlier but i might repeat that the community development blocks will have a special responsibility in this matter i have suggested and shri s k day my colleague entirely agrees that the community development blocks during the next few years should concentrate on increasing food production and nothing else they can of course do other things but the main part of their work should be to help the kisan to increase his production i would even go to the length of suggesting that it should be responsibility of the community development officers to attend to each and every field a proper survey should be made and production of each field of the progress made in 6 months and if there is no progress of the obstacles and difficulties the particular kisan had to face those difficulties and obstacles should then be removed there should be a regular chart i do not suggest that we should merely work on paper my desire is in fact that i may be wrong but i sometimes feel that all the jeeps should be withdrawn from the community development blocks let the officers and workers visit only a few villages if they cannot visit them all but let them do some concentrated work and actually mingle and mix with kisans then alone the community development workers be able to enthuse them i would go i would go to the length of telling the house that it will be our job the job of the ministers to go and stay in villages i am suggesting this in all seriousness whatever or wherever we may go it would be much better for us to stay in a village rather than in a dark bungalow when i advise officers to go and mix and live with the people we must also do the same and set a real and good example i do not want to make the task of the ministers or others impossible but some kind of a plan or scheme has to be drawn up in accordance with which we have to function as i said the real problem is to increase production i would not say that this problem is going to be solved or self sufficient is going to be achieved in the course of next one year or two years we must think in terms of at least 6 to 8 years during which we must do our utmost to increase our agricultural production and to build up a reserve as well this progress should be steady progress and should be as far as possible a progress from year to year one cannot completely ensure that there will be no troubles for cultivators and the rural areas there may be floods there may be drought there may be frost and others problems these things will also have to be kept in mind even a great country like russia which has done wonders is still facing shortage of food grains even they sometimes find it convenient or necessary to import food grains you can well imagine 
what might be the position of a country like ours faced as we are with so many other problems distribution is also another important matter the food and agriculture minister spoke about setting up of an all india food grain corporation we do not want to create a monopoly whereby only the government deals with food grains it is an experiment and i think we should start with it carefully and try to succeed in it in a way it is the straight trading and if we succeed in it we can take it further it is not a question of ideology there can be no ideology where food is concerned food is an essential thing and it is the responsibility of the government to give it to the people at reasonable prices the government should see to it that there is no scarcity of shortage in a country like japan which believes only or mostly in private trade the state procures all the rice and other food grains produced in the country not only that the government also takes charge of the distribution i am told that there are 36000 to 40000 retail shops in japan to distribute the food grains i would like to say one more thing i am sorry i have to be a bit critical but there is a feeling in the states that they are dependent on center for supply of wheat or rice even states which are more or less self sufficient if not surplus depend on the center they do not put their very best to produce more because they know that center will somehow find food grains this is not a very happy trend for one thing it has an adverse effect on the administration this trend must be changed and a new psychology created in the states i wanted to refer also to the high prices of other articles or commodities which are of common use like cloth sugar salt oil vegetables match boxes and even bicycle tires and tubes etc it is essential that at least for some time some of these items some of the uh, these items should be sold at fixed prices as so we can fix the price for cloth 